Introducing first, from Tijuana, Mexico. Byron, what can we expect to see from these two teams here tonight? Michael, I fully expect to see these two teams put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition. That's how good these teams are. And his partner, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 241 pounds, The Nightmare, Sean Stasia. Stay with us. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. And their opponent, first, from Oakland, California, weighing in at 237 pounds, the hero, Tornado. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. From Hackensack, New Jersey, weighing in at 205 pounds, Adrian Alpha Omega Coleman.
This is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Vicious attack. Thunderous slam. Attack. Devastating kick. <laughs> Looks like he's starting to sweat now, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? Big hip toss into the cartwheel and a knee strike. What a combination! This might be it. Oh, my! Harsh impact. The end may be what impact. Victory is on the horizon. Of the neck. No doubt about that one. This could end it in a hurry. He looks for it once again. Yeah. What a slam! Impactful. No jar your spine. Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship. The teams became very familiar. Trouble under. Not the fall that hurt. It's the sudden stop at the end. That almost came out of nowhere. That'll likely do it, Michael. The two out of three falls matches saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus as a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their dominance. Look out, look out, Body Buster! Now that's how you make a statement. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Kick. 
Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. He's calling for it. He wants no part of this. He's showing some quickness there. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action. Ah, uh, they go out of nowhere. But he's got to capitalize now. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. He's looking hapless out there. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Looking for the exclamation point! Battling to get the upper hand. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent, who will be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. Not under. Take 
one out. What's he made of? Paper mache? I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Three, four, I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. We've seen this ball destroy your face. We may be looking at over. And this is gonna be it! And he's able to get out. So resilient. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, nasty impact. Ooh, he's making a statement here with this attack. This is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker School, that's for sure. Oh, suicide dive! Oh, and the ref gets absolutely floored. Yeah, but let's be honest, the light breeze would knock him over. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Dangerously close to getting counted out. Definitely cutting it close, Michael. I don't think there's any coming back from this type of assault. This has all been over. What a whole great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. This might be it. Oh, my. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Two. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Back now inside the ring. Here he goes. Is he done? Look out, he breaks free. Great job by him there, but he's still in a tough spot, Cole. Not good for the back and body. If every tag team in the back isn't watching this match right now, they're doing themselves a major disservice. And it's reversed. Slip play! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, he is rolling. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. You gotta believe this one's over. Boom! <laughs> Trump, if you're a WWE superstar.
superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. Oh my goodness, this hurts. He kicks out of that one. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Oh boy, he is rolling. Beautiful technique. your game changer. That has got to be it. A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. Oh, what impact. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Now that got those shoulders on the match. Match.